This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then you Don't give up what you want, take it back. Happy birthday, mayhem! Hey. We, 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 already, we burned through the wick already. Happy birthday. Yes, look at all that. Look at the old faces, the new faces. It is a celebration, not just of professional wrestling, but of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are now 12. We are, I don't know, what do you do at 12? Drink heavily. Hey, I remember no, no. what I did. Uh, yeah, yeah, and exactly. All right, you we got to blow out the candles. Larry, blow out the candles. Uh, <laughs> I asked the one with asthma, I know. <laughs> yeah, asthmatically. Yay! Yay! Did everybody make a mayhem wish? Yes. yes. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, well, we around we got a lot of people it. here. This is Enzo. There's Looks gonna like somebody took a bite out of the twelve. <laughs> <laughs> it does, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, but anyways, we are twelve years old. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We're gonna be dive a little bit in the history. We will be talking Wrestle Kingdom on this show and other WWE things, but we're gonna be looking back. Uh, first off, we have a ton of people with us. First of all, of course, on the couch. The old school, the weekly features have been reunited on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Doc Remedy joining us. Hello. And Chad the Shad joining us the first of the year. The OG, you guys were like, you you were just like, you guys were like employee two, uh, three and four of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Or host three and four, I think, if I remember the order right. I could be wrong. Um. I think he was four and I was five. He was four and you were five. Because oh. the other guy that you have on the, the line The other here guy was three. who's on the line, Steam Machine, is Ooh. with us. And if you if, if long time, long time listeners may remember Steam Machine. Because you haven't been here for a while. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I was there for the 10 year anniversary. Yes. Yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So yeah, we the we, big one. So I'm like the uh, the undertaker of the wrestling man. <laughs> <laughs> Protect our streets. Protect our streets. Don't get us started. Thank you for joining us, Steam Machine, one of the original uh, Mayhemers. And of course, we got a whole crew of guys with us. Of course, you saw uh, effectively blowing out the cake. Larry is with us. Uh, Rob, cameraman Rob, is with us as well. I love nice shirts you guys are wearing. Some Brizango, some Elias. It's a friend of the show, Elias, of course. What, oh, you're gonna get in the microphone. <laughs> Macho Man 2.0. Got a, little, got a little bit of glow. We got glow sticks. Look uh, at this. Look at this. We really birthday now. There's there's candy. There's there's special candy packets. Uh, there, there we have birthday sashes and everything. And uh, it's 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 really it's really it's like, that's what all the crinkling is right now. <laughs> and of course, what are you talking about? oh jeez, oh jeez, <laughs> happy <laughs> happy birthday. It's crazy that we all brought one of those. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, Sean Michaels stole mine. <laughs> He's and, just a birthday boy. And of course, <laughs> online we have from Poughkeepsie, New York, Mad Mike. Yes, proud member of the Vigilante Club because we have not failed this city. There you go. Bobby F. J. Town with his new microphone. Is it uh, white or chewing black? On a mask. He's chewing on a mask. <laughs> the, what's up, Chris LaRusso? He's looking at you. Hey, Chris. <laughs> what's up, Chris? Uh, and of course, See? what's that? I was gonna say I'll see you on, on the next at the uh, Reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not coming to Royal Valley? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's close to you. Weather. And of course, yeah. Wheels joining us as well from uh, I don't even know where you are these days. Not California. Gahila. What the Monongahela? Monongahela. I'll say that right. Monongahela, California. This is the Wrestling Mayhem oh. Show. We usually don't have this many people on, but it is a special occasion. You can check us out as we have for the last 12 years. 
at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com, every Tuesday night now at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we are on the Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out the show on audio uh, podcasts on uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Music, as well as video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. Thank you to Basic Sickness. That's been our theme music for quite a long time. And also, uh, you can drop us a line at that email address... Good time. Strong. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Twitter at Mayhem Show. And uh, thank you to our streaming partner, the 405media.com. You can see us. You can listen to us at midnight Eastern time. At seven days a week, you can, you can nod off to the Mayhem Show and the sweet sounds of... All our voices um, <laughs> and crinkling of like, what is there's something happening we're, over here. We're having like, a, we're, ha- we're having a scaffolding. Match. You're having a scaffold match with the uh, with the wrestlers on the yeah. on the microphone stand. This is pretty fantastic. You're saying scavenger hunt. <laughs> somehow Jim Cornette's <laughs> having a scavenger hunt with the wrestlers. <laughs> What's that, Rob? <laughs> somehow Jim Cornette's going to be the one that takes the bump. Yeah, yeah. Out of all of them, because everybody else is afraid of heights. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters that support this madness as well. Um, <laughs> Including at the dollar fan of the show level, Boo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke and Bobby FJ Town at the Pocky Club five dollar level. Money. They're getting the Mayhem Show gold. <laughs> we had a lot of fun from our friends at Occupy Pro Wrestling, Tina Keys and Christopher Bishop. And at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, our good friend Billy F and Johnson, who provided the uh, wardrobe this evening for uh, uh, stage left here uh, for uh, Larry and Rob as well. Thanks, yeah. Billy. <laughs> the, the pizza club is Thanks my favorite dressing. bullet club t-shirt there you go there you go <laughs> you okay. literally put clothes on our back patrons thank hey, you I, pay, I paid for one tenth of this microphone there you go <laughs> oh well, yeah i guess of a sort uh, anyways <laughs> And uh, is that all the plugs? That's all the things. I mean, you can, of course, please. There's different levels, uh, including the pizza club, including the, exe- the the manager level. You can be the Miss Elizabeth to our Mayhem Show Macho Man uh, yeah. over there as well. So let's get into it. First of all, hey, it's been 12 years. I want to get into a little bit of the origins of the Mayhem Show. But first, let's take a look back. Can we remember when? Uh, re- wait, which remember? way are we looking at? When I want to be remember when. Wow, thank you. I was hoping so I remember I, we used to sing. We used to we sing. Did, we, did, we used to sing a lot. And then, yeah, yeah, we used to sing. And then we stopped. Um, then we stopped because we're not good singers. No, we're not. We're not okay. Speak singers. for yourself. <laughs> Bobby well, takes collectively a as a unit. No, well, Terrible. we are never That's synchronized or on key. So exactly, that. or even with the right same song. That's right. <laughs> So we started 12 years ago. Um, I believe 12 years ago, probably tomorrow, if I have my math right, right? Um, actually, no, it might so have been today. So we're I, as old as Wrestle Kingdom? We are. Wow, I think we are. <laughs> wow, we are. And we definitely did not like think about Wrestle Kingdom at the time either. Uh, Our entrances have gotten better over the years as well. So, <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, they have. <laughs> we Oh, never mind. <laughs> Pick your spots. Pick your spots. There's a lot of people. Uh, but anyways, uh, New Year's Revolution had just come to pass. <laughs> it- <laughs> John Cena had just survived an elimination chamber featuring, now check out this line of people, Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, Kane, Chris Masters and Carlito. Oh no, they're doing the master lock over there on the couch. No, no one can break the master lock. I was at that pay per view, Sork. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah, I was at that pay per view. Was it? Was it in New York City? Where was it? It was in Albany. It was in Albany. Wow. Yes. Mad Mike was a piece of the history. The, the first thing oh. I ever uploaded to YouTube was the footage. I, was the footage I shot of Edge celebrating his title win. Nice. Which is, again, Edge came out, mining the bank, mm-hmm. beat John Cena mm-hmm. afterwards. Spoilers. Chad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spoilers. I'm sorry I spoiled a 12-year-old at a wrestling event, sir. No, no one's ever handed a briefcase over as emphatically and with purpose as the very first cash-in. Absolutely. Like, here, Vince. Here you go. <laughs> Full-on rated R superstar. Mm-hmm. The first time they've done that. What First Money in the Bank winner, first Money in the Bank cash-in. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. And really kind of set the tone for money in the bank in general. Yeah, forever. <laughs> forever. You know, also, think talking about uh, 12 years ago and John Cena, do we remember uh, basic thugonomics? Do mm-hmm. we still pass basic thugonomics? Is that... <laughs> Actually, it was 12 years ago. Was that about the time he was going through the Kevin Federline stuff, too? Mm, I think so. That was yeah. Wow. Word life. Wow. Yeah, when he was transitioning out of uh, muscle-bound Eminem. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we, all have to, we all have to graduate on to bigger things every once in a while. That's right. That's muscle-bound right. Eminem improv group. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get stabbed in, the, in a nightclub by Jesus, Carlito's... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah! Henchman. That was that was way before that though. That was like yeah yeah yeah. Maybe, yeah. You got to get yeah. someplace. Yeah, start. It's all it's all part of the evolution. It's mm-hmm. all part of the evolution. Also, the also, evolution is a mystery. <laughs> I want to oh point God. out that yeah. as Raw twenty five is approaching here in a couple weeks, Mad, Mad Mike, I think you're going to be a part of that, right? I'm I'm going to do my damnedest to be so. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, I, it, I actually wasn't one of the people they announced on the USA uh, commercial, which I feel uh, deeply insulted by. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that. What we'll the well, well, make sure you put a call in events. As a I former will. WWE employee. Yes, uh, and as a former person in the crowd on many a Raw. <laughs> <laughs> He's done his part. He's in the credits, four. person in crowd. Yeah. yeah. Mad Mike. <laughs> I, hey, if you look up Michael Rorson in the WWE database. What? I'm on several Raws. I don't think I don't think they. Oh, that's right. You, you were tagging. You were tagging I yourself. I tagged myself. Yes, I was. <laughs> I'm looking, I was say, I'm looking this up your right IMDb now. To no, say no, no. I don't think we, like you can't see it on the network. It's it's in the internal database, oh. right? Oh. Yeah, it's in the internal database. Oh, like the internal database, I am there. The one we we can't get access to, but the informs the network. They'll never. <laughs> he doesn't have his own. He has the one that lists all the Chris Benoit appearances too. <laughs> no, no, I didn't have to flag myself. I didn't have to flag myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow. Ten minutes in, and we already bring up Benoit. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awkward episode. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was rough. That was like the heaviest which, episode. Which one? Ever. The Every, one where we celebrated that, or the one? After <laughs> no, that. the one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, the halfway through where we found out we needed to stop celebrating. Um, no. <laughs> So, <laughs> I was say, what night were you doing it back then? No, no it was it was Tuesday. Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Okay. It was a day after all that went down. Was that twelve years ago? Uh, it was like, how about all no, those? No, how about all oh, those great that? tribute matches they had on Raw for that dear old Chris Benoit? Yeah, uh, that's an episode of Raw. Probably won't make the network. Yeah, remember he was discovered Monday morning, and so everyone was like, "Oh, it's so terrible." And then like. Late Tuesday, early Wednesday, it's like he actually murdered everybody. No, no, yeah. actually, no, there, no. There no. People, like, it was. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. It was. Yeah. It got some cross talk, guys. Yeah. This is the problem with this many people. No, it was. It was. There was a press conference like ten or ten thirty that night during Raw, where they, where the, the cops said what happened basically. And I was just like, oh, okay, Uh-oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah like, you can tell when Reed goes on it. Yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you want to know the worst part about that whole thing? Mm. We never got the payoff for the limo exploding. <laughs> yeah, I've talked about this many times. Right, right. Because that was the worst thing from that week. Oh, for me, and- I need to know how that story ended, <laughs> yeah. Sork. I can't. I can't sleep at night when I don't know how the limo story. Yeah. Up. No. How do we know if that? How do we know that's the real yeah. Vince McMahon today? <laughs> What if that's like his, his, his like, Bischoff? Yes, yeah, twin say, brother you know who or something. Benefited from that the most, John Morrison. Hmm. Because he he got the ECW Championship right after that. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, Benoit didn't make the uh, pay per view. Yeah, it was supposed so, to be Benoit well, and Punk, right? Yeah, 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 I think so. I think so. Um, also, also, uh, the very first thing we talked about. Which I believe was me yelling in the microphone. We saw Lita's titty nipple, which I flubbed. Um, it's a fact, right? Those were the facts because was, those were the facts at the time. That was good reporting. That was as we we talked about before the show how how we we are more respectful for women on the show these days. Um, we were not then. Uh, what are you was, talking about? But we still respect those all different women titties. That's. All women titties are respected. Yeah, <laughs> but anyways, getting away from a tasteful that. video breakdown. <laughs> yeah, we did, we did because uh, there was a live. Well, we did, we did as well as WWE was doing at the time because there was a live sex celebration between Edge and Lita. And as the, the biggest Lita fan in the room, I was very happy about this um, because there was a, a bit of a uh, uh, exposure wardrobe uh, malfunction. Wardrobe malfunction, right? So, yeah, northern exposure. 
a, a northern <laughs> exposure, right? <laughs> uh, as Remedy is awkwardly shaking a glow stick, trying to get it to work. <laughs> I heard. All right, Sork, how I, else are you going to shake a glow stick? I, I, light I, up? Hey, you know what? I remember Steam Machine making fun of uh, Edge's junk. Oh, yeah. yeah there, if there's you a, go back and listen to the first show, he's just ripping him. <laughs> For his Again, for I mean, his it's package, not fault. <laughs> it's not our fault that he's you know the broadside of a dumb number two pencil. I mean, it's <laughs> they could have pulled the covers all the way off, and you still would not have seen his junk. <laughs> it just would have been sans sans junk, like a Ken doll. Like there's nothing. <laughs> I, I, I miss you, Steve Machine. <laughs> you never know. Maybe Edge is proficient at the tuck. Uh, there you go. <laughs> this this is the kind of expert analysis that we did um, twelve years ago. Um, let's see. Also, oh, like, how's the chat room doing, Missy? Is, is, is there anything going on out there? Is there, is there any I dick talk some, in the chat room? I see some waves and high fives uh, uh, out of the corner of my eye over here. The chat room is actually giving us some updates. Okay, uh, fashion files just beat Russo day. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm really conflicted about that. Yeah, I'm a little conflicted right. about that too. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There's there's well, some stuff going on there. Um, and one of the comments that was made, I do have to bring this up because it made me laugh when I saw it. It was it's not loading now. Mayhem Missy asked if Eamon was, I believe, in eighth grade yet. <laughs> He was 16, when, maybe 15, when he started listening to the show. 14. 14 when he started listening to the show? I want to say that is the correct oh, number. Oh, jeez. Because that, that's when she we... Corrupting Minors. I, I, I told you. Half of what I said. Corrupting <laughs> Minors <laughs> since 2006, the Wrestling Mayhem show. Um, what but, age was he when he came and saw you, sorry? <laughs> oh, he was... <laughs> <laughs> What a lead in. I mean his mom. Corrupting. His mom was here too, right? Yeah, it was his mom and his brother and they, they stopped in and I mean he was in high school wow. at the time. No. Oh, okay. you know, Corrupting it's, uh, minors and then what what age did he come and see you, Sword? Uh-huh. <laughs> just well, I was just asking. Well that's also the weekend where we brutally beat him in Cleveland. <laughs> <laughs> Not helping. You were part of that. Sword t- just taking that ball about? and running. This, this give him, get him. Oh wait, wait. Sorry, I brought you down. Go ahead. This wasn't during the Christmas episode, by any no, chance. No, 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 no. This was the, okay. there was a. It was the weekend that uh, Daniel Bryan had been excised from the WWE for choking somebody with a tie, and he was at the <laughs> Chikara and AIW doubleheader uh, up in Cleveland. And we went to Chikara. We didn't go to AIW. I think because we all had school days the next day. Um, <laughs> we actually, most of us were probably going to school. <laughs> to be quite honest, um, of some sort. And uh, and uh, I remember afterwards we were chopping him in the parking lot and listen well, and listen to the King Frown CD on the way home. Oh Vimmel, God, Vimmel started Frown that CD. tradition. He did do that, yeah, yeah. And then and then when I came up, you guys chopped the shit out of me. Yep, that's how we do. <laughs> Those videos are still online on my personal YouTube account, I believe. So yeah, and nobody's visited us for a while. I, I noticed. You too. know the weird thing? I saw that video and I said, "These guys must be fun to visit." <laughs> <laughs> These guys are a hoot. You know what's great is being a new guy. <laughs> <laughs> After we you don't, know, yeah, you um, you didn't sorry, get the. While everyone's there, we should chop Larry. <gasps> <laughs> Larry's gonna he hate me. I carry blades. I have asthma too. <laughs> I have Inhaler. I have Inhaler. Inhaler. Plus, he's getting off light because Veronica's not there. That's true. This is true. But she's <laughs> actually she's close by. She was in Pittsburgh like two days ago. So. <laughs> Is she back? Hey, is she back I in San Diego? What, what's that, Wheels? I kind of lucked out. I have not been chopped. No, you I, have not been. Road trip. Well, that's because if you get chopped, you'll actually roll backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, you have not been chopped, but you were thrown at the necro butcher. So <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Yeah, that's that's a point. Point. You're, yeah. Point. yeah, you're you're the only uh, you're the only one of us on this show who's been used as a foreign object in a wrestling match. <laughs> Actually, speak, that is true. Very true. Yes. Speaking speaking of that, I may have not gotten chopped by you guys, but shortly after I started hanging out with you, um, Hooven chopped me a bunch of times uh, when he was training <laughs> at IWC <laughs> show. He'd just come up to me at ringside and just. <laughs> what do you mean training? I thought he was just a photographer. They threw oh, yeah. him in the oh, ring. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, you hang around then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I don't know. And was, I think Chuck training. Roberts hit me with a kendo stick. I don't think that really counts. That's shield, like being so. hit with a wet noodle. <laughs> If you're, if you're going to talk getting chops. 
<laughs> this guy right here. Listen, how is, many how many okay. uh, tag and world champions did you uh, get shot by that night? <laughs> and by the way, I talked to Jay Lethal at the last Ring of Honor show. He remembers that very fondly. That's fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Well, who was it there? Uh, Ra- Raw's commentator. Raw's commentator. Now Corey Graves gave <laughs> yep. you a chop. He hit me twice. I remember uh, Justin Idol gave his chop to Ray Rowe, so he Ray got Rowe you twice. Me, yeah. Ray, uh, Ray that bear claw. So oh, my God. Uh, Brent Albright. Brent Albright. Brent Albright, the one. shooter. Brent Albright. Jeez, he was... I was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, you got uh, about 15 chops. Yeah. Out of it, that. It wasn't fun. It was supposed to be 21. <laughs> Ray Rose was the one that did you. Yeah. Uh, do we know where the video is? Mm. Mm. The video. Maybe sorry. dead on MySpace somewhere? Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, don't the go pictures, back to I think there's don't a few it. pictures floating around. Listen, there are pictures. On Facebook not an, not an Angel Fire page? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> not an Angel <laughs> Fire. Not, not, not I just remember pod. seeing that bear claw. You're like, look at my chest. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh. Is, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tattoo now. Oh, geez. Uh, but from there, um, oh, oh, going back to back in the day. Back in the day. You know who debuted that month, later that month? I know. This is a hot time for wrestling. The Spirit Squad debuted on the 23rd of January. <laughs> <laughs> See, here, I was going to say Chuck Palumbo. And they wrestled <laughs> last year, Sorg. What's they that? wrestled last year on SmackDown. They, they yeah, did. They, they did. did. They yeah. reunited. That's right. At least yep. some of them, whichever ones they could find from under their rocks. Kenny and Mike. Also, <laughs> we were deep into Shelton Benjamin and his mama. Oh. And yeah. now we're oh. into Shelton Benjamin and his weird adopted son. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> also, we were just weeks before the Royal Rumble um, in 2006, where uh, Rey Mysterio won. Rey Mysterio, by the way. Out of the building. What's that? <laughs> he didn't get booed out of the building. He didn't get booed out of the building. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he wasn't in Pittsburgh. No, no, no. He was no, 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 actually no. cheered. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was. He had to commit the crime of not being Daniel Bryan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but, but, but also, Rey Mysterio times. coming. To Meanville to take on friend of the show DJZ. Yeah. Coming uh, up. Excuse me, Sorg. I, I believe it's Meadville. Meadville, yes. Yeah, no, <laughs> I love how many digs we throw at Eamon, who is not here to defend himself. <laughs> was uh, was oh, this the also way. the time <laughs> that Randy Orton was shitting in gym bags? Oh, that was like oh, all of the two thousands. About this it? time, I mean, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That, yeah. That, we, that was also around the time yeah. of the Photoshop of him RKOing the television in the ho- hotel room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ray oh. Mysterio. Didn't that later on he would ride his title belt, you know, Booyaka through the like a sled? <laughs> what? <laughs> when Ray Mysterio, he had the Eddie Guerrero Memorial title run. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When he was coming out with the cars and everything, mm-hmm. it was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I guess. still don't know why they didn't pick Chavo for that. Nobody likes Chavo. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not true. Lucha Underground gave me a new appreciation for Lucha <laughs> Underground doesn't count because they weren't going to oh, let Kerwin White win the title. <laughs> I was going to say, and and uh, you know, Dolph Ziggler might not have been in the Spirit Squad had, had Eddie not passed away because he oh, was. That's a fair point. Because he was, he was, he was Chavo's caddy, wasn't he? Yep. Ker, yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Kerwin yep. White, yeah, Kerwin White died. <laughs> just stopped. <laughs> I mean, you Kerwin White just died, stopped. So Ziggler may live. <laughs> I mean, you, you talk about him you know, leaving us hanging with the yeah. exploded yeah. That's a show title. But, thanks a lot, <laughs> Benoit. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> you asshole. Thanks uh, a lot. So we started the show. Think of yourself. We started the show. We were streaming at the time on Shoutcast Radio as part of the, probably at that point, as part of the Western PA Juggalos.com radio network. <laughs> WPAJ. WPAJ represent. Uh, and uh, so we had, we had live listeners then in 2006. Not many. Definitely more now. Slightly more now. Um, <laughs> we gain we gain now. what one follower yeah, every year? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. That's good. Yeah, we're at fourteen live followers. Fourteen live followers. <laughs> I mean, but that's actually but to be fair, that is really good. Uh, I've done a lot of Facebook lives, and that actually is a really um, near average for Facebook lives, like major ones that we do that people have paid a lot of money for. So, right. so, but, but still, but we get a lot of people that watch throughout the night and everything. And we had, do you remember how we interacted with our fans during those original 
live shows. Uh, we berated them. <laughs> no, 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 not that part. Not that oh. part. What <laughs> platform did we use to berate them on? Oh, yeah. It was AOL. AOL <laughs> chat messenger. rooms. Instant AIM yeah. chat rooms. Huh, huh. So we would start. Like, uh, there's a question from the chat there's room. There's a question from the chat room. Yes. Would this be around the time of Tim White and Josh Matthews? I feel like that's after. Oh, that was dark. That's hard. That's hard to pin down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was dark. There's a very good chance I, that it was. I also want to know where what TNA was doing at the time. But Nothing. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, this is wrong. This is wrong. TNA was wrestle had the same triple threat match at every pay per view of mm-hmm. Samoa Joe's AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels. And now That's look where WWE's at. <laughs> I would buy. It. I would buy them. They, there's some. They had some yeah. weekday ones, like Wednesday pay per view. I think uh, we were past used, that. I think where were we starting? They were definitely on Spike. Uh, I think yeah, they were on yeah. Fox Sports at the time. No, because I think yes, they, they went on Spike in like 2005. They were on Fox Sports originally. No, they were on Fox yeah. Sports first. First, yeah. Oh, first, yeah. But they, we never got it here because they kept getting preempted by like Pirates games. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I remember I was in school, though, at the dorms because I would order like the midweek pay-per-view mm-hmm. because I like those triple threat matches. <laughs> Yeah, oh, boy, <laughs> we they, were they've fallen very far. Since we were then. like at, at a time it was like, "Hey, TNA is going to be pretty good, you guys." No, we were <laughs> we never were, like no, that. Yes, no, yes, we were. No. Yes, we were. No, we were like, Joe nah, and Kurt Angle. TNA is probably going to be I mediocre. Know, all the I don't think you don't. watch all the pay per views if you thought that. Because there are a lot of not good things happening on those shows. <laughs> but there are a lot of great things happening too, though. We did get the yeah, Motor City Machine Guns. Joe we got Motor City Machine Guns, Joe and Angle. Angle, uh, Joe and Angle. Angle, 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 Angle did not happen until later. later. Okay. okay. Later. You had was later in TNA. Originally, remember it was uh, AJ Styles, Daniel, or what was his name? Chris the Art Angel guy. That yeah, Chris for Daniels. Guy that Chris for Daniels. Daniels yeah. and, uh, and Samoa Joe. If you remember... Um, Whenever, because uh, Kurt Angle came on later, yeah. remember whenever we got all those mouth guards, and he was like, "Oh, and one's a secret." And then we did this whole joke about him being a violent rapist and a gentle lover. Um, <laughs> facts. Still yes, yes, true. these are facts. Still and, true. And so, like, we were saying, you got well, a son out saying, of it. I was. I predicted this storyline well, ten years ago. <laughs> why did you predict Jason Jordan? <laughs> he actually predicted Chad Gable, but All something else awesome in the time stream. I was honestly expecting Enzo, but hey, you know. <laughs> I still wanted it to be Rusev, damn it. Nobody saw Enzo coming. Oh, jeez. This was also. Could you the... imagine that storyline if Enzo was the. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Pops. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, remedy, remedy. This was also around the time in TNA when Kevin Nash was cha- training to be an X Division oh, wrestler. Oh God! Yes, and he'd have yeah. him do a moonsault, and they do a cutaway on the camera. And he'd just <laughs> land on thing. <laughs> My favorite is uh, whoever was Chris Saban or somebody was like, "Here, do this," and a bunch of flippy shit, and he was just like clubbing him in the back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a big boot. <laughs> Who was? Who was he Switched like it? training? Like was it like Sanjay Dutt or something? Or? He was training with Alex Shelley because that's when Alex Shelley was doing the private oh, he was eye like his camera. camera guy he was doing the oh, camera. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then they went in the motor shitty machine gun stuff. Oh jeez. Um, that was yeah. That was Sean, Sanjay Dutt. That was Jay Lethal. And and, and it is kind of, JD is saying that Kurt went to Impact in fall of two thousand six. Yeah, because he so was, was in ECW for that whatever the one night stand was. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. was gone like a month after that. Yeah, so. yeah. yeah. So we had a lot of fun out. with ECW. We did. We did. Uh, it was real bad. Yeah. <laughs> and real good to talk about. <laughs> Zombie. Yeah. Zombie ECW. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I think it was just starting. And by the way, I'm like not too like a, within the past year, I've seen a poster for an indie wrestling show featuring the ECW zombie. <laughs> so he's still getting work. No, he passed away. Sort of. Oh no! Someone just yeah. Someone just sold the gimmick. His, like his career really took yeah. off after he died, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he, so he's like Doink the clown. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't until he died that he realized his full potential as a zombie. <laughs> live the gimmick. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, don't really live it, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Dying the Oxymoron. gimmick. <laughs> Oh geez, uh, yeah. So we started the show on the stream, and then um, it was audio, no, no video. DJ Lunchbox. No, no, that started in 2010. We started video, I think, with Blog TV. Um, we filmed some of that out there on on YouTube as well. 
Uh, so, so like we started, and Will would just bring these random people in, Woo. <laughs> and they never left <laughs> because. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, I was like, who are these who are these friends of yours? And it turns out they were pretty fun to talk wrestling with. So it worked out Listen, it's good. your fault you fed us, but <laughs> that is true. We, did I feed you? The, I don't know. I just remember we went to McDonald's. You fed us with knowledge. Wrestling. Oh, McMitch's good. Oh, good. Conversation. You went to yeah, I had no money. Your brain. <laughs> yeah, we used to go to McMitch's before uh for every show. Mm-hmm. And I used to air our customer complaints <laughs> live. Did, did they ever get that poor girl out of the freezer? That girl's dead. No. Like, do we know? <laughs> you can hear her teeth rattling to this day. I do love because this. <laughs> <laughs> they demoed that McDonald's and built a new Jessica. one. So yeah, they did. She's Jessica. part of the foundation now. Poor Jessica. Poor, poor Jessica. Jessica. I think the, the walk in is, is haunted. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not the whip. It's because really as, as any good wrestling podcast does, we called a McDonald's manager, didn't, actually did it and played it on the show, didn't like how that went. So we called, so we did our own mock version of it, and uh, <laughs> classic that, was born. That was wait, 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 Sorg, Sorg, that was fake. Um, well, I think it's twelve years the twelve twelve years in. I think yes, that was that was set up. motherfucker. Like, there you go, there you go. The Sorg, you know how many nine one one calls I sent out to random McDonald's? I I thought there was someone being abused there, Sorg. Oh boy, there probably was. It just wasn't her. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I Wait, mean, would you say that it's still real to you? <laughs> yes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm believing it. <laughs> Oh boy, um, I'm yeah, sure. A lot of fun. I'm sure I've forgotten a million things that we ended up doing because I can't remember like two weeks so, ago on this show. So, do you remember when you ran for president? Oh God, I did run for president. <laughs> that was that know. year because it was the 2006 election, wasn't it? it was. Yeah, that was. Yeah, 2008. 2008. Sorry. Yes. No, 2008. 2008. 2008. Um, was Stoke it, Monkey as my running mate? Alex Cars misses the comments from the unwashed masses segment. <laughs> oh no! That was you guys. It was. It was. It was com- wasn't it comments on like WWE's? That was, that was not. Yeah, that, that was, was Bobby. Yeah, that was okay. me. Okay. Uh, what what, yeah, what was I the concept? I grabbed comments from WWE's social network or social media on Facebook <laughs> oh. and just read them how just terrible wait, they wait, were. Wait, wait, wait. The WWE Universe that they did? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh man. And it was WWE's Facebook, uh, people that commented on Twitter and stuff like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Terrible, terrible Jeez. comments. Don't, it was bad. Don't read the comments. Why would we that, ever want to be a part of that? There's a reason why people say that. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to hear from people that think wrestling is real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. How, uh, we, we, had, we had some other segments, and, and I think we're going to maybe revisit some of them here. We had some beautiful green screen work. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Wonderful, wonderful. Wait, what? Yeah. Wonderful yeah. WWE versus TNA uh green screen videos. I'm <laughs> telling you, we should bring those back with WWE versus Lucha Underground versus New Japan. Mm, who would who would represent Lucha Underground? Like I know who should, I, but they're in El Paso. Hi, <laughs> I, I will represent Lucha Underground. <laughs> okay. We just have to get you here. And in front of the green that's screen. That's fine. We have access to a green screen. Like a real green screen that's like well lit and everything too. So Oh, it's not taped together in your living room. No, it's, <laughs> it's not. Like, it, oh, we got to stretch this a little tighter. That fold's uh, going to make <laughs> make this happen. Hold on. Let me <laughs> let me move this lamp. Hold on um, a second. Hey, you know, I'm still. Can I represent WWE Saturday Morning Slam? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Remember that show? Did Absolutely. Um, How many WWE shows have came and went? Oh, wow. In the in the time that we've been on, well, Saturday morning cool. slam. So have velocity. Saturday morning slam. Yeah, velocity. Yeah. ECW jacked. Uh, main event. Mm-hmm. XFL. Oh, Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> when was the metal? XFL? Legends House. Uh, oh. Legends House. Um, you only know, actually heard XFL's coming back. Yeah. 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 That's the news going yeah, around. That's, that's the word. The so, From Alpha Entertainment. Back in those days. Back in those days. I'm to break out my jersey. Donald Trump was merely just sure. a character on a wrestling show. Isn't he still? <laughs> <laughs> and moving on. Yeah, the um, wrestling, just a different ty- kind of wrestling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Bigger, it's just, bigger it's just promos forever. 
Are you going to bring back the cocaine segment? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, Wait, lunchbox oh, yeah, will drink energy yeah. drinks. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that was an interesting thing we did. So, so we decided to review and and um, drink the entire. Like, I think this was was this our take on should I drink that? Because if a drink, <laughs> yeah. we had a couple takes on should I drink that. That is true. It, it was, and, was and also just, should I wrestle that? <laughs> should I wrestle? Should I wrestle that? Again. Yeah history of me being an idiot <laughs> <laughs> and, and and by the way so so I, of this show of course we have we, we joke about but legitimately mad mike has worked for wwe um during the show i believe right oh yeah during Absolutely. during during involvement in this show we had a, mm -hmm. a wwe employee on um we uh i'm trying to think what else we've had dave of course doc Ooh. remedy doc yes. remedy who is not dead because I think we killed you off for a while. Oh, I was dead. <laughs> yeah, you oh, were yeah. dead for a while. One. Well, I didn't kill Chuck. Uh, I didn't kill Doc Remedy. Chuck Roberts killed Doc Remedy. Oh, that's right. In his soul. <laughs> I, I resurrected Doc Remedy. That's right. Well, you actually went on because a lot of us were doing backyard wrestling. You went. You went legit. Mm -hmm. I trained with uh, Super Hentai, Marshall Gambino at the IWC Wrestling School. That's right. I was the part of the first class when they did kind of their school relaunch. Yeah. Uh, Whatever year that was. Who, who else was in your class? Anybody of note? Nobody of note? Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. That was not a good class, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you set me up there or not. So no, I didn't know. I didn't. I, I, for all I know, like Elias was in your uh, No. There no. was something like that. Nope. Definitely <laughs> no, not him. Ser <laughs> Serafini and Fleck. Oh, okay. All We're right. Fleckenstein. <laughs> <laughs> Serafini is been around she's mm -hmm. still no no she's retired from wrestling retired. about a year ago i think so yeah so but uh so you actually had got in there went all the mm -hmm. way with it um, he's walked with elias i did my claim oh. to fame is i got tossed <laughs> yes. off the top rope with a belly-to-belly -belly suplex almost across the ring by elias well, you know, so we're gonna have, have to put you know you I ha you wait 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 for John C by the way <laughs> i do i do have access to Dave's entire career in IWC. My, don't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> My brief Sword, stint. I smell a mayhem watch part. Entire <laughs> career. You need the the retro. It's, but it's true though, it's right? Almost as though he yeah. knew this would. Like you the only thing, have the access only, to the everything thing, that I've done in IWC. I have, I have access to everything. <laughs> what's the uh, what's that guy? What's, what was the wrestlers three DVD set that they always <laughs> put out? Braden Walker. Braden Walker. <laughs> yeah, I spent two. Two weeks in ECW. Spent 15 minutes with Matt Hardy backstage. <laughs> Do you know what that means? You could get merch royalties. Mm. I, think, get, I think get a DVD what, going. from IWC? <laughs> yeah. Put I a think DVD, Doc put Remedy a best, has... Best of Doc Remedy. He has a little more best time. Best of Dave DeMira. I mean, and I do have a lot of your backyard wrestling career as no. well. No? You keep <laughs> that buried wherever holds in. Something... Like one of those got yeah, out. The some DVD went around. Oh, yeah? Yeah, mm. and I know the guys were watching it. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so things are, and and I think you met your wife yep. via the podcast as well. Mm -hmm. So awesome! All right, well, good times. Know, if you will. <laughs> good, good, good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> good times. <laughs> oh, geez, that would and be mayhem, Missy. That would be mayhem, Missy. Case, yes, uh, for you, all those out there that don't know, it's like, like you're blowing up my spots. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, awesome. Anything else? Any other memories you guys want to touch on here we, before we get to actually talking about wrestling here? I would like to ask a question of the room. Mm -hmm. Since I've been a little uh, off uh, off base here and, and out of touch, what's, uh, what's everyone's favorite wrestler uh, or wrestlers as of right now? Oh, Chris Jericho. Oh, down. you son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Helping a lot of people say that. How many times? How many times? Oh, God damn it. What? <laughs> what? What? He's literally the diet cola of rock and roll. All right? There's... <laughs> 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 I've missed Steam Machine so much. <laughs> so much. Have yeah, oh you listened God. to Judas? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, Fozzie's cool now. 
Fozzie Fosborn. <laughs> oh my God! It, every time he wrestles, it's just like someone throwing around a sack of potatoes with a two by four in it. That's... <laughs> when was the last time you watched a Jericho match? Uh, yeah. When was the last time he was in WWE? Like recently a with Kevin ago? Owens. Yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, Kevin Owens. All right, it's the Kevin Owens show for. A <laughs> so we know who didn't, who really liked the uh, festival of friendship. Then, <laughs> oh my god, it was amazing. It was <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, so Kevin Owens is yours then, uh, Steve. Yeah, Schmidt. yeah, that's that's a good call. Okay, all right. What about you, Chad? Um, do I even have to do, ask? Do you? <laughs> but so just for the uninformed, who is your favorite? He's technically wrestler? not a wrestler right now. Oh, no, he wrestles. Yeah. He wrestled last night. What? Uh, Enzo Amore? He, he had oh, a championship I you match I you last night. Edge. Current. Current wrestler. He said wrestler, nowadays. Current wrestler. Edge, edge will always hold a special place in my heart. I have signed autographs as Edge at various... <laughs> Various <laughs> wrestling to places. Family, to an Asian family in New York City. I have. Yeah, there's a picture. There's a picture of me outside of Madison Square Garden with 12 Asians from, there's I assume, the same family. There's about 500 people that. chanting your name. Yeah, that. I mean, that I'm whole. I'm tired of that story. That whole New York trip remember, was amazing. I remember Remedy was just like, Mike, Mike, we're going to lift him. We're going to lift him. I'm like, can we lift him? He's like, we're going to lift him. <laughs> I'm in the air. I'm in the air. And I, I'm in the air and everyone can see me. <laughs> And I mean, like, everybody just turns. And I'm like, I'm the only person who is eight feet above everybody. Like, I, can't I, am, I am out there. And then, well, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just start Edge. 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 And, uh, and about at, least, at least 500 people exiting Madison yeah. Square Garden yep. at the Royal Rumble. Uh, there's a video of me shaking that dude's hand with a leather jacket after I took a picture of him. <laughs> I, picture with him. I wonder um, if there is a New York-based podcast out there somewhere who still reminisces about the time that uh, Edge was just in the corridor at Madison Square Garden the I, night after beating Rey Mysterio. I could not believe how pro-Edge that crowd was and how much they hated Rey Mysterio. No, no, no. I, I love when it, it happened. I was like, wow, they're really against Rey. And then like, I turned to Mike and told, I was like, what's up with like everybody hating Rey here? He was like, oh, yeah, they hate Mexicans in New York. And I was, I was just like, like, I was like what? I and, and he, I did not say wow. that. They were all oh, cheering like, Edge. And I was like, love Canadians. these are my people. <laughs> Edge, yes. Um, I I signed the bum's bed in Central Park. You did. That's um, Gregory, who just uh, debuted with RWA. I, I cut a promo on Dennis Gregory about his bed being unmade in Central Park, and then I signed it bum, and it was a real bum's bed. He, he was not there. He probably came back later that day. I was like, who the hell wrote bum on my bed and signed you know, it? In, Chad in, the Shad. In my mind, he was just in the distance. Where he could see where he was going, Damn just kids. holding like he got I some change together, and he's got a sandwich from McDonald's, right? And he just like kind of stops because he's watching this happen in the distance. Yeah, a single <laughs> tear goes down his cheek, and, he, and, and then he was happy. He's like, like right, Edge, Edge signed my bed. Advertise, Edge signed my bed. Me and uh, me and my fellow weekly feature here went down the slides at the yeah. at the park. There's a lot of debauchery at that part. Just <laughs> Grandel, Grandel, I almost speared that squirrel. For the rat king. Yeah, mm-hmm. the rat king. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, then, and then there was just Chad and Chachi being drunk. In, uh, in the that world. was that the, show is. At, um, it goes down in history as my absolute favorite episode of the Mayhem Show. Is our four to five hour drunken debauchery that night up in New York? It just yeah, Chad apartment. leaves. Chad comes back. <laughs> Chad leaves again. Chachi gets up. Chachi gets up and drunkly says, "I have to go save Chad and leaves." Hey, hey, I, hey I, Chad, where, where'd you end up going? Well, the first time I went to the bar. Because <laughs> bars close at four a.m. in New York. Yeah, yeah. How about that? Uh, the second time. Well. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Your sister might know my whereabouts. <laughs> Swish. Edge, man. <laughs> Ultimate opportunist. He says as he's eating birthday cake. 
<laughs> hey, man. I know. I want that visual. <laughs> like this visual right here. It's just. That's it's, how it's done. I feel all threats and intimidation to done. come while eating birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I mean, that trip was just. That, it was. It was so good. That was oh so good. So Chachi, oh Chachi and Chad come back and they're giggling like schoolgirls and we're like, what's wrong? And they're like, we threw a car seat down no, this no. giant flight of steps. It was in the trash. There was no <laughs> child in it. It wasn't it wasn't a car seat like a baby, like an actual seat out of a vehicle. Yeah. It was just sitting on the curb and they threw it down this random. There was concrete. a baby seat that we contemplated throwing, but then there was like a van seat. <laughs> we just Chucked it down the down the staircase, outdoor staircase. Just terror. Uh, I came back and and I chewed Doritos loudly into the mic. Uh, choked on a Nerf dart that someone shot in my mouth. It sounded like this. Uh, I yelled a lot. Back to the original question. It's a good show. Doc Remedy, who's your favorite wrestler oh, these days? And mine's Enzo More. Oh yeah, there you yeah. Go. yeah. <laughs> that who, whole story, who else? that whole New York story, it pays off. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, brings it all around. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dancing I'm, with birthday cake. <laughs> I'm torn because I want to go with the easy answer of Elias because because he belly suplexed you in the ring. He, one he's my boy. I used to train with him on Thursday nights. Um, but he's I'm gonna boy. go with honestly, probably most improved and just in general is a joy to watch. Braun Strowman. Oh, oh yeah. I really yeah. thought you were going to say Alexa Bliss right there. <laughs> Real joy to watch. Uh, and he flipped an ambulance. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. And and he has survived uh, being shredded in a yeah. back of a garbage truck. <laughs> yeah, and he lives in a garbage truck. He is truck. actually super shredder at this point. The, uh, yeah. the, his greatest feat was watching him sprint across the top of Mrs. Limo and onto the yes, dock. It was. it was like four strides, and <laughs> he caught up with them. It was incredible. That's one of my favorite clips. Is like he is nimble as a cat. And also his catchphrase <laughs> uh, when was it Roman Reigns he was wrestling. And uh, roses are red, violets are blue. Roman, I'm not finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> now he wants to put catch these hands on a shirt. I, I enjoy that too. Catch these hands, like oh, you get some country strong. You get some. <laughs> yeah, I hear you catch get these some hands country is actually strong. his new uh, Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. All right. I hope it's also just pictures of him lifting heavy people. Like this could be you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, going around. Get Cameraman Rob, what is your favorite these days? I, I think I'm oh, oh, wait, you're, you're not on mic or something. I don't know what's happening there. There you go. Oh, was it shut off? Yeah. Oh. I'm liking The Miz a lot. And I love how he's playing up the whole, like, you know, I was just in the Marine 6, you know, <laughs> like, that, like that means anything. <laughs> like, it's almost like, like kind of what Hogan was doing back in, in the day when yeah. nobody gave a shit about the movies he was doing. But, <laughs> he, but he, how dare you? <laughs> Suburban Commando was a masterpiece, sir. How dare well, that you? That was before that, but I mean, like, sir, sir, but, but I mean, like, like, my life. This is an '87 himself. Honda. How dare you? I, I'm talking like, like '96, '97, '98, where okay. it's like he's supposed to be badass, you know, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Like he's promoting like a shitty Christmas movie that's gonna be on TNT. Still yeah. balding, like wearing that. the bandana. <laughs> yeah, where he's still he's, paradise changed my life. Yeah, where, <laughs> where he's still goofy, I like messing around so with bad. Yeah. And, yeah. What about you, Larry? Um, are we talking about just 2017? Uh, yeah, just just these days. Okay. Um, these days. I want to say this year was James Ellsworth. Wow. He, he, uh, <laughs> he, James Ellsworth created, actually got let go in 2017. Created, so this year, 2018. Okay, so this year, I'm going to go with Romu Tanahashi. Or Takahashi. <laughs> Takahashi. 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 Hey. Takahashi. We'll talk about some New Japan here in a moment. Uh, what about you guys out there? Uh, Bobby of J-Town? Uh, I, I got two. Uh, Asuka and Finn Balor. <laughs> Solid Mike. choices. Mm-hmm. Asuka. There you go. What about you, man, Mike? Um, I, I'm just gonna give you two words, Cerro Miedo. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. <laughs> How did That's... none of you bastards say no way, Jose? Huh? <laughs> um, no way, man. No, no way. Current <laughs> and wrestler. <laughs> Wheels. How about you? Cian Almas. He just turned on. Oh, Wheels left. Oh. oh, Wheels. What happened? Wheels? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, yeah, well, he was having some connection. Uh, Wheels, so Wheels we'll says. See. 
We will say AJ Styles. AJ Styles in the chat. He got would tire. He got DQ'd. <laughs> JD says uh, Eli Drake overall. Charlotte and WWE. This is, just should have been our big question. Ooh, uh, Eli Drake. We don't know. Wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, each his own. I'm still not watching Impact. Brandon says Randy and Nakamura. Oh no, this is, these are results from SmackDown. Randy and Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how about how about the weirdest haircut of the last year? Goes award goes to Randy Orton. <laughs> the fu- what the fuck no, is he doing? No, weirdest haircut has to go to John Cena growing his hair out. Well, I think they had like no, a, a hair off hair where it was like Cena's like, "Well, my hair looks pretty weird," and Orton showed up like, "No, my hair looks weirder." <laughs> <laughs> I, bet, I bet you I can get real weird with it, and then they just it's wrestle each other. Strange evolution of the eternal, yeah, you know, Cena versus Cena. Uh, let's see. Tina says Jeff Cobb, Charlotte, David Starr. Uh, yes, Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb. Uh, Matanzo, of course. I just saw him in a match. Uh, he was like an <laughs> eight man in uh, New Japan. Randy has an approaching hairline, not a receding. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Maya Missy. Maya Missy says current fave AJ Styles and Becky Lynch. And uh, Alex, Alex, Alex Miller. Alex says AR Fox. A- mm. Or is it AR Fox? Dante. Dante <laughs> Fox, yes. All right. Uh, so so this, the end of current wrestling in, uh, stuff, Wrestle Kingdom just happened. A uh, few of us here uh, stayed up. Well, try to stay most up. Most of us. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you didn't make it. I made it, it most it was of like the a five-minute nap. Yeah, yeah. It was a five-minute nap in the middle of the chair. During the match. main event. Yes. No, no. Yes. I left after the main event to go to work. Yes, yes. <laughs> or before the main event. Well, we watched Wrestle Kingdom live here in the studio, the Wrestle Kingdom slumber party. It was weird to be watching the main event as the sun came up here mm-hmm. in Pittsburgh. Um, and uh, and watching- again... Watching people going to work on the TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, very depressing. Yeah, no, yeah, I was like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah. Like, I got to work and I was like, wait, it's still going on on Twitter? What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we were, we were yeah. watching it and we were going, wait, it's still going on? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. It was a long ass show. I couldn't make it. Yeah. I yeah. couldn't make it. It, it, it. I swear it was longer than last year's. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Because I did stay up for all of last year's when you crapped out. I tapped story. out about two matches from the end yeah. last year. So yeah. we're watching, and, and, and Jericho Omega, at least it caught our interest for the most part for being up that late and tired uh, for the most part. Uh, Larry, you, is this your first, you've been watching a lot of Access. Hollywood. Hollywood. I, was, I was watching, there were a few um, like rerun yeah. episodes on Access. I'll get that you uh, it was basically all the episodes that lead up to the matches that were happening during Wrestle Kingdom. Okay, so so you're you're relatively kind of just jumping into New Japan. Yeah. So yeah. What, what are you thinking of it so far? I'm liking it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's like good wrestling, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It's it's the opposite of what WWE is right now, which is awesome <laughs> because I'm getting really <laughs> like WWE is getting really stale for me right now. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it's a good substitute right now. <laughs> it's great, and, and the stories they do, like, they don't have a regular show every week, right? So, it like, they have these pretty much spot shows Yeah, that things happen at, and yeah. they have press conferences and everything. Um, and, and that's kind of appealing, because it's like, oh, I don't have to keep up with this on a regular basis, right? Like, you can not watch the CMLL crossover that they're going to have this week, right? Because, well, you know, it's some good matches, but... Okay, that's fine. I was going back and watching the G One US special. Pretty fun to watch. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's a it's, uh, you know a lot of the guys we're familiar with from the U S, uh, but a nice mix of still the Japanese guys. Um, the uh, what did I just watch? Omega and Mike Elgin was amazing on that, and I, I still need to watch the main event from day one and and, and the rest from there. Uh, Remedy, you what, have you watched a lot of New Japan going into this? No, no, this is my first show that i watched like one my first pay-per-view of theirs i did make a trip it's probably three or four years ago when they kind of did a united states tour and played out at the arena Mm -hmm. uh over in philadelphia we went out for that it was a new japan show and a i think a czw show right after it or before it one way or the other i forget which one came first one of those those co-promoted kind of deals yep that was a pretty good time awesome I have yep. a question. Um, I don't have. Hold on, you got, we gotta get you on mic. Get, oh, get in front I? of the mic. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. There it is. Hi. Hi. Uh, okay, I don't I don't have access, Hi. so I just kind of see bits and parts of New Japan like on, you know, like when people post videos on Facebook and stuff. Right. But so so the weekly show on access is that just like like you said they don't really have weekly TV. So is this just like a weekly show just for the sake of having a weekly show you know, you know like almost kind of a i'm, I'm picturing it's like what, featuring like, matches so is basically. it like wwf mania or something when they would have something like a clip show with a couple matches or? um i, I would well, say I mean, it's, it's probably a little more match heavy i imagine but. i would equi- uh, equate it to kind of what roh is doing where they're taping all of their shows and then they run it on their weekly show they just keep running matches well, yeah, kind of like like a one right feel like putting up like i just listened i just or i just watched the episode from this <laughs> week and it's just like hey here's matches from our uk tour mm-hmm. like not necessarily a show just like hey here's a bunch of matches yeah um i think it's that and they're i think they're specifically like are they really i don't think they're in order so much like they were no. they were just featuring a lot yeah. of matches here and there i thought okay. i'll pull over <clears throat> there is somewhat there's somewhat of an order, but it's very loose. Mm-hmm. A- Access has it in order. It's just um, when they're releasing them is kind of uh, spread out from when it actually happens live. Mm-hmm. So um, the stuff on the New Japan World is coming out weeks before any, it's of, live. any of the Access. Because I think all of it's live on whenever they come on <laughs> for New Japan, for World. New Japan World. And also it's interesting because New Japan, for the a lot of the shows, not all of them, they are doing English commentary. Like, there are at least one or two shows a month will have English commentary. Um, and it's Kevin Kelly and Don Callis. And then you go to Access, and it's Jim Ross and... Josh uh, Burnett. Josh Burnett. And, and, and even I'm watching the G1 special, which they recorded with Jim Ross and Josh Burnett. And, and I'm wondering if they had that live on Access. Because the way that it's formatted, and they're talking about Access, feels like it was... Basically recorded for access. That one was live. That one was live on access. Yeah. So J- yeah, it, it, Jr. It did live commentary for the G one. Yeah, yeah, he's ringside for it and everything, right? Yeah. And, and they're they're doing stand ups and intermission and everything too. And with the weekly show, are they pushing the New Japan World app? Like, hey, that's you know, like to like, hey, sign up for this to see it, see it all or anything. They didn't seem to push it as. They, you know, they don't push it as heavy as WWE was pushing the no like nine 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 yeah or like like Ring of Honor pushes they, the they, members they, club or something. I think during Wrestle Kingdom they mentioned it maybe three times mm-hmm. that I can recall. It was mm-hmm. Japanese. We couldn't tell. No, it was English. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Dallas well, I, was yeah. doing the commentary. But I signed yeah. up for it. Uh, I signed. <laughs> I signed up for it and then found the button to turn in English. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. that's impressive. He, he didn't yeah. find the English button until the like till the semi main event. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh. three and a half hours. Like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> you know, I'm using the, the Google Translate in uh, Chrome, and yeah, and, and, and it's like you know, you can read most of it, but then the buttons don't translate. Yeah, yeah. So like, did I just submit or cancel? I'm not entirely sure. And that's not counting the three hours hours of uh, World Tag League. That's we right. Watched we watched three hours of World Tag League before Wrestle Kingdom because because <laughs> Larry comes. He's like, I want to be there at eleven. I said, I was like, are you sure? Because it doesn't start until two. But he needed to come with ramen from Ramen Bar, which was amazing, by the way, because it was yeah. it was amazing and gets us in the theme for it. So, <laughs> so appreciating that. Uh, uh, Steam, did you did you watch much of Race, Wrestle Kingdom yet? So I haven't watched Wrestle Kingdom yet. I watch a lot of it on Access. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I've been actually watching Access for fucking year and a half, I guess. Mm-hmm. It, which is great because, you know, I saw the, the switch over from, um, I always forget his name. I love his announcing, MR, whatever. My Ronaldo or oh, yeah, uh, Ronaldo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I love him to death, by the way. Um, but whenever it switched over to JR, there was nothing more entertaining. It was the highlight of my week was trying to hear JR pronounced Japanese names. <laughs> I had breakfast, breakfast with Nakamura yesterday. It's, it, it's <laughs> pretty great. broke that Chinaman in half. <laughs> <laughs> were, they, were they all Chinaman? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he can't no. see any color, so they're just all Chinaman. It's just easier. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was a poorly timed. <laughs> we're just ignoring what, just, what I just did. <laughs> 
was, nothing happened. That was very, if you're on, very. If you're on audio, very nothing happened. Time. Nothing <laughs> happened. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, sore. Uh, sea machine's here, so it just happens. <laughs> uh, anyways, but no, check it out. It's a great alternative, and that's one thing that's, that's definitely changed since since we started this. Was oh hey, we got TNA now on Fox Sports or Spike or whatever. Now it's like. We have all these options. Uh, yeah. Riz was subscribing to Chikaratopia. I, I subscribe to New Japan World at least once a year when Wrestle Kingdom comes up. <laughs> we have the network. Every promotion, indies, you know, is so accessible right now. We can go subscribe to something like a Powerbomb TV or... or, or the sword, or, there's IndieWrestling.us.com. There, there is IndieWrestling.us, uh, yeah, which, you know. by the way, has a 33%... <laughs> Off sale on digital downloads this month with the uh, coupon code New Year 2018. Go over there, indiewrestling.us. Support them. Go find every David Demira match. <laughs> don't don't do that. Is that Go all, every don't. show with you'll David be, Demira on them. You'll be disappointed. Don't no, watch my matches. because there's good matches on there no, no, alongside. No, yeah, yeah, watch David everyone Demira. else's. Just don't watch anything that says David you, or Demira. You too can see the one where uh, <laughs> where I lose. Where I'll lie. <laughs> Or that other one where I lose. Elias, truly the end of an era. Where, where, where Dave once Dave <laughs> Demira once walked with Elias. Who's, who's that? Uh, <laughs> the famous. Uh, Weren't you in a jobber? six man with like Johnny Gargano or something too? No, the eight man that I lost, or that I was on the winning. <laughs> I was. I actually won that match with, uh, against Elias because I think it was a super indie match. It was Shulo. Or Elias, Low Rider, um, how, do spell, how do you spell Demira? D i m e r a. I'm gonna see right here what we got. And that's disappointing. Oh that's terrible God. radio. Don't don't. So don't. Dave, while you were wrestling, what was your what was your finisher if you actually managed to get that far? It was lying on his back. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like one of those like you play a video no. game. Like you're playing one of the games and you just pick a guy to play as him just to see if they have a finisher. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this guy's finisher. Yeah. What is? <laughs> uh, my favorite, I, uh, I like doing a fisherman driver. That was fun. Okay. Classic. Yeah. It, it didn't, didn't do I it very often. I came up with a really good finisher recently. Okay. Um, I call it the bifurcator. It's mm. a uh, inverted... Uh, Inverted atomic drop from the top rope. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow. Uh, the Lords of terrible. Valhalla would be proud. <laughs> oh, I'm looking at the I'm looking at your matches. This is pretty fantastic. Uh, it's very disappointing. Yeah, you had a lot of matches with Tyler Stone. Well, yeah. I, I I have a question about the early days of the show. Okay. Okay, like we're talking about guys like oh Elias and DJZ and things you know, it's like how many like friend. back Back in 2006, how many people from here were kind of on the the big stage? At the time? Yeah. Not from, many. Because that's even before some of these guys were even training or anything, right? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. around when a lot of those guys were 2006, training. 2006, I think, is when level. DJZ debuted with IWC. Hmm. Sounds right. Yep. Jason well, Gorey and Babyface. There also Art. weren't yeah. a lot of outlets back then for like people to get on like now no, we have no. now we have nxt now we have um just the boon of the indies because like back in back when we started just ovw there were there was not a lot of indie stuff going on because people were still like wwe owned everything and tna yeah. was still i mean they've been around a few years but like they were the kind of hey they're they're kind of doing all right you know but yeah. there yeah there really wasn't regional. anybody else kind of on, and yeah. it was early before you know, like on the internet where you could find everything. Yeah, there's just so, just OVW. Yeah. That was like the only other mainstay. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to we want to get back to this conversation, but first, uh, first of all, Larry has to go because he's gonna he he is uh, Larry is going to be scouting the site of WrestleMania later this year. I am. Yes, <laughs> I'm going to New Orleans tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you are in New Orleans, Larry, so we gotta let uh, him go. Larry, yes, you don't have to set up for a surprise birthday party for me. You d- that's unnecessary. That's oh, unnecessary, Larry. You okay, do I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There is no uh, surprise birthday party. We'll be Mike. back with more mayhem <laughs> celebration after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. 
Oh. Welcome to part two of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. So I hope for all of you out there that are burning this to your CD ours so you can listen to on your uh, on your on your commute. Back in I know because the show is so long, we made sure to split it on your so disc man. that that you can <laughs> burn it to to two separate CDs so you can listen to the show at your leisure. Um, Hamilton because right. the internet was not as persistent back then. Nor iPods, apparently. We're fine. Um, I'm or pretty phones. sure Harry yeah. Potter stole our idea at the split episode. Did anyone have a Zune? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, 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 no. We we um we launched this podcast two years before the iPhone. <laughs> wow, that's a claim to fame. That's, <laughs> that's a world I don't want to live in. Yeah. It's like, that's uh, a world I don't want to get what's back. A, to. What was that old TV wipe? The the shooting star with the more you know. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> damn, damn, you old. <laughs> you show old. I bet I still have a bunch of old episodes of the show on my iPod Touch downstairs. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> just Shit, no, I should go look. Just boot it up and listen to them. Uh, uh, the old iPod Shuffle. All That's right. <laughs> I I would click, del- click, click, if there's click, click, any click, episodes click, 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 around <laughs> November six, two thousand eight. I would get rid of them. <laughs> what? Nothing. November 6, 2008? <laughs> Whenever the election would have been in 2008. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just get rid of those episodes. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, old Doc bad. Remedy really enjoyed the fact that uh, we had a new president. <laughs> <laughs> really? I bad decision. We didn't, to, we didn't uh, talk about that, did we? Sorg. Really? Serious? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, no, we, it was... we just lamented that the Sorg and Macho Man didn't win the election. Yeah, that's all I remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. No, all right. All bad right. decisions were made. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, on our break here, between episode part one and part two, um, we used to play music on this show. Yep. Yeah. We would have a music break. Yep. Man, the... We needed a break for how hard we went. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> there you go. But we did discover. We oh, like a halftime right. actor. Oh yeah, so yeah. Hard we went or hard. Well, we that that and like it would be hot. Like yeah, it would actually be hot in the studio. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, was, yeah. was this still in, in uh, Studio A when when you were doing it? Uh, 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 around that time would have been a Studio. B had been the upstairs. Many, the upstairs. How yeah. many studios have there been? Oh, okay. this would be D. yeah, yeah, because this was <laughs> because there was the back room at the at the townhouse, and then there was the <laughs> upstairs bedroom at the new place, and then the basement. Now that's been rearranged several times. So, so this is actually the fourth incarnation of the studio. Let's say the fourth location. Uh, oh, fourth location. location. Okay. Incarnation, I think, is a little more. Because mm-hmm. there's a lot. If you look through the videos, we did a lot of different configurations in that basement. Yeah, before you guys um, moved here, it was. <laughs> it looked like a completely different mm-hmm. space when you were in the And there have been a couple temporary locations. Mm-hmm. This is true, too. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's Man on the street. <laughs> yes. Um, so, anyways, we were over on uh, IndieWrestling.us. And uh, we were discovered there was a page two. To the uh, David R. Demira Chronicles over <laughs> it, there. It's subtitled, Much More Disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointment squared. And we, we discovered in uh, August 20th, 2011, at Caged Fury. Oh, Caged <laughs> Fury. <laughs> Wait, didn't you have a hand in that Fucking cage? Dude. Fuck that cage. <laughs> Didn't you like like build them one or something? That is, or? I built that. You cage. built that cage. It's not yeah. looking great these days, by the no, way. No, Dave was the only one who put up that cage. <laughs> one, he was a one man <laughs> band. <laughs> After having a match, the second match in IWC for one Dalton Castle. Mm. Yep. What? Who's that there guy? Was, uh... <laughs> who just became recently the Ring of Honor World Champion? It was his uh, his second match in. Uh, he was being brought in, being put over as the face. He had wrestled. Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. He was heel. Yeah. Um, yeah. He was wrestled. He wrestled Tyler Stone first and then had wrestled me because I believe he was supposed to wrestle or did wrestle Justin Idol on the premise that he beat his students on his road to him. Hmm. So would would this mean that you are on the best of Dalton Castle Volume One? I sure hope Rise not. Rise Peacock <laughs> from no, Sorgatron Media. I don't deep think, cuts. No. I don't the think, deep cuts. Yeah, I'm not sure that we included if, that if, one. No. If, IWC unreleased. If yeah. you're playing, if you're playing that DVD on a PlayStation and you enter up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, 
X, uh, X circle select start, you might see the match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to think. You just get killed like 30 I might, times. That's right. <laughs> It's I, just a loop of me yeah. taking his dead lip German. I feel like <laughs> I might have secretly included it on the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> like I could have done that when I was putting that thing together. Please don't. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, so. If you hit the left arrow on your DVD remote <laughs> under <laughs> chapters, you will find a secret match. Yes. So JD is pointing out. Never forget, Doc was the first boy. <sighs> this is true. What? The boys. Oh. The boys. Oh. Dalton has boys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I guess you could say that I was a first. It's boy. like boy zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I be? Can I be negative boy? <laughs> negative boy. So that sounds so... like a really shitty superhero. <laughs> yeah. Negative, negative boy. boy. He's, he's just really a downer. You know, yeah. just yeah. Kinda, Oh god, we don't stand a chance. You're the, uh, you're that's that's the, like an SNL bit. We don't need to go. He's there. the upside down boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! So David <laughs> Ardemira, yeah, if the... Elias gets a world championship, you're gonna have a pedigree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at all you're... the guys. I could be the new uh, Kurt Hawkins. Look at all the guys I put over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. you <laughs> put them over. That's like right. without me, they don't get a first step. That's Cause, it. They cause, stumble because they asked you if it they was okay. Stumble. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> they stumble. They need. He gave I'm them a... the step. You're like, you know what? I'm taking the diamond cutter, bro. You know, that kind of... <laughs> I, say, give, saying yeah. I was a first step is a huge huge compliment i was the welcome mat that they like brushed their feet off of hey in order to get anywhere you still gotta take a step so <laughs> and, well, unless they just jumped over you <laughs> that would have been it they're like but then you you provided the leap they're like, the challenge they're like ah what's that piece of shit and step over it i do love i'm like oh i didn't get a wrestler or anything on this week and i'm like well we got dave <laughs> I don't count as a wrestler. Sure, you that's do. what when true. people is just fun and how I perceive things. When people say, "Oh, you retired for wrestling," and I'm like, "No, <laughs> I didn't." You actually have to have a career to retire from. <laughs> no, I, had a, no. I had like a half or two dozen matches. Like that doesn't count. You could say you retired from the industry. No, Since <laughs> you, even that's giving you, me you way build, too much credit. You build a lot of rings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I did do that. <laughs> yeah. You retired from <laughs> ring building. That's right. All right, now it's time for the it's the time of the show that you know you guys are always waiting for every week. It's time for fan mail. Oh, I thought it was time fan for Shad to Shad's fan, fan, fan of the week. That's <laughs> <laughs> the other thing. Oh wait, what was that? You, you remember the song? Uh, we have a you know God Sorg. We've been doing this twelve years. You cut off the damn jingle for fan mail. Ah. Uh. Fan Every mail, fan yeah. mail, it's time for motherfucking fan mail. Fan mail. Wonderful. Well, we have fan one, fan a mail. classic fan mail from April twenty first, two thousand nine. <laughs> yes. Oh, <that> <laughs> great. Upon oh, request, we we dusted off the old inbox. When we we got a lot of emails back then. It I mean, was literally a box of mail. We don't get as many today, <laughs> but we get more people live. So I think that's the big kind live of trade off. Like we have live comments and they're part of the show, and we have Missy we wrangling them. them. That old trusty email. Good times from our good Can I friend. Send snail for a good <laughs> yeah, you could. For your good friend, Juggalo Jamie. Yay! <laughs> Hi, lunchbox. I'm Bax. <laughs> Is that CKS? <laughs> Or an X. No, let's see. Yes, yeah, okay. Heroes was greatness. The only thing that would make it better is if Skylar randomly grow, grow boobs. Now, how do you think boobs is spelled? B E W B S. Yep, 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 yep. Why? Were, were we talking about heroes on the show? Apparently. That's <laughs> probably the last time uh, anybody talked about sword. heroes. Do you remember? Dave and I had a heroes podcast. Yeah. You did. The it's level st- five it's podcast. Still on, uh. It's still on Talk Show. <laughs> the TNA pay per view, PPV, PPV, was good, P-P-P-P. and I thought it was going to be impact with a cage. Yeah, Black Lesnar is <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Lashley. Bobby, oh, Lashley. Lashley. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley. Oh, Bobby Lashley. Lashley. My roommate's cousin. <laughs> hold on. We'll go, hold on. I want to get to that. That, that deserves <laughs> some of it. The only match I didn't like was War Games. My favorite match was the Sting versus Mick Foley. 
Period. <laughs> the sting. <laughs> the sting. I was going to say, was it the sting? Like the capital sting. T, sting. And the police. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Suplexity. All right. All right. Is, is There's a classic underrated. mayhem quote. Oh, oh. Bump you take. Oh, I think the wrong one. <laughs> 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 There's a reason Lunchbox read these. I'm trying to remember what was even happening back I need, I need wheels back to read this. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus. Hold on. Okay. So use, use. Boy. Use no, no, no. Use it's not ninja. that bad. Uh, boy, okay. go get me a cracker. Dot, dot, Ritz. Noah, white boy. <laughs> <laughs> Did we say that? I don't know. What is wrong with we, us? We read these. Raw was awesome. <laughs> Santino is the best thing on Raw. Oh boy. What is WWE That's Superstar true. Show? I guess Superstars was just starting. What's, Fuck. Oh man. Was he said Santino was the best thing? Was that two weeks after like Santino won the women's battle royal <laughs> at, 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 at WrestleMania? Might have been. Santino was amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, by the way, because I, actually you know at that point. By the way, at the bottom of the email, because I think this is a hotmail address. Messenger has tons of new features that make chatting more fun. Click mm-hmm. here to learn more. Now I want to click on the link to see if it's still live. <laughs> and <laughs> <Ass> virus. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's and, probably worse. You know that thing they've been talking about with the CPU virus. Now I have it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's going contract to the CompuServe uh, virus. It's going to live. It evolved into Skynet. Yeah, exactly. So there is that. But that was a good point that was brought up because we did have Lashley facts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. La- Lashley facts. Um, Steam Machine may remember my my uh, college roommate. I met, uh, I met him like once or twice. My, oh, yeah. yeah. Justin Lashley. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cousin of Bobby Lashley. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sure you know what Bobby Lashley looks like. Uh, he hasn't really changed. <laughs> Uh, Justin Lashley. If you're, having, if you're if you're having trouble, uh, refer to our Juggalo Jamie email, and that'll explain everything you need to know about what Bobby Lashley looks like. So, so Justin Lashley was a uh, a 125 pound skater boy <laughs> with hair in his eyes and always wore beanie and was like the classic kind of like that hair there. Yeah, yeah he was like a classic hair. like skater, early 2000s like. So, so he looked like a background character in Tony Hawk. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Actually, he didn't have to create characters for Tony Hawk because character. they were all—he was already in them. <laughs> do, you, do you think somebody told him, "See you later, boy"? <laughs> See, yeah, uh, his girlfriend Tegan. Hey, he wasn't—he wasn't, good, he wasn't good enough for her. His girlfriend Tegan so "See you later, boy." Oh. But, <laughs> that's B L I. Uh, so, but he He's would, he up would, uh, 12 years later, he up would dirt. give me Lashley facts about his cousin, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> and, uh, I, I cannot remember any of the actual Lashley facts cause they were all very impromptu and very random, but those were good times. This week's Lash, cause he would tell him I would, every Tuesday I would come to the show. And before that he would come home from class, but got a, I got a Lashley fact for you to say on the show tonight. And then I would bring them. And share them with all. <laughs> he is he is not Bobby Lashley's real life cousin, but uh, just in case you wink, needed wink. help, because the he way the way the way you were describing him, I, I pictured it as like Lashley when he's not the Hulk anymore. Well, <laughs> he did, like the Bruce Banner version of <laughs> and and much, and Justin Lashley Lashley's was very pale. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he was very pale. <laughs> so. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh uh, well, okay. Now the other segment that you've been waiting for. Yes. Chad the Shad's Fan of the Week. We're bringing them all back, guys. Bring them all. <laughs> so, I used to do a segment where I, get, I give a Fan of the Week every week. And uh, Bryant Chappelle was a uh, prominent regular, winner. Yeah. He was a regular winner. Yeah. Uh, Mad Mike was a uh, winner a few times. Bri- Bryant Chappelle what, was my nemesis. Yep. They fought frequently. Was my nemesis. Uh, Vimmel was fan of the week a few times. I think maybe even Eamon. Uh, Vimmel, uh, uh, a fan. I thought we made Vimmel eternal fan of the week. I think we did. At some point. Yeah, eventually he graduated uh, the Hall of Fame. Vimmel, the the uh, uh, fan from England. Yes. 
who <laughs> visited us after the first year. Yeah, and I threw a mac and cheese bite at him from another car. <laughs> Dude, I remember that. Going Ma- up Mothra Mar- ain't got shit on me. Go through, <laughs> go through Mount Lebanon. Yeah, yelling on on Washington Road. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, as uh, you do things, you do. Mothra don't got shit on me. <laughs> he yells, "The giant butterfly." <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and then we proceeded to make asses of ourselves. Yeah. So, fan of the week. Fan of the week. Yeah. We got a lot happening in the chat room. There's a lot of fans now. Yeah. <laughs> How about that? But, like before, I just gave it like it's two weird. people. It's weird. You know, I, 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 go to, I go to my one client who's a pretty big corporate client and two cubicles from the person that I have to work with is fucking fan of the show dave potter out there and i'm just like hey <laughs> hey uh yeah it, so it, they are everywhere well so for this one i'm gonna have to outsource a little bit oh and ask for a room input maybe even producer missy here who who you, she is on the chat room who do you She's think would be would it? be worthy yeah. to uh to to be up for consideration for fan chad the chad's fan of the week let me uh let me let's do a a three way dance if you if you may. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> microphone, microphone. I'm getting there. I think I'm gonna have to go with Dave Podner. Okay. Because Dave Dave usually gives us some pretty decent content and comments throughout the throughout the week. Uh, secondary, I think, would be Bradley. He's he's been popping up a lot recently. He did leg wrestle on the show a few weeks ago. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and I didn't realize. <laughs> I didn't realize that Chess Flexor good, threw good. a fireball at him during that show what? until yesterday. What? Yeah, there was he threw a fireball at him during the leg wrestling. Go Is back. He Mario now? You go. No, no. <laughs> He's Mario now. Chess. So because he was blinded, did that, did that cause him to? Yeah, to yeah, leave? that's exactly. Yeah. It. He was blinded by the fire, <laughs> and also the fact that it was a fucking fire. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> that is a. Uh, <laughs> Fire, fireballs are a staple of the chest flexor move set. <laughs> they are. Yeah. I have never. I've seen maybe the behind the scenes move set. Oh, I see. I've seen many a chest <laughs> flexor. Fireball. Wait, wait. So he never uses it in a match. <laughs> no. Uh, he might have done it at AIW a couple yeah, times. Yeah, at AIW. I forget he was he wasn't the, AIW. Yeah. He was a manager out there because I think he carried over the billionaire chest flexor thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, that. That's so great. Um, you had a dog collar match with Dave or with, with chest, chest flexor. Yep. <laughs> More yep. dumb shit. More dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, I heard about what Jake said after the match this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Don't do that shit. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, because we doubled up the chain and basically made a flail, and we smacked each other in the head with the fla- mm. chain flail a couple times. It was dumb. Yeah, yeah. I think. The one, mine was a little too long, so when I hit Flexor in the side of the head with it, it actually wrapped all the way around and oh. dinged him in the side, oh. like right oh. in the eye. Oh. Anyways, back to Fan of the Week. Fan yeah. of the Week. Who do, who do, do you have a name to throw in here? Uh, do I have a name to throw in here? Um, do, oh, why Sorgatron? Uh, in this past week, I'm, I'm scanning the group, because a lot of people do a lot of great things on the group. And uh, I know it's kind of a lot of them are on the show. So, <laughs> um, okay, all right, all right. I have to give one uh, to Brandon because he he's always contributing things to the show. All he's right. always in the chat rooms, and he actually contributes to other shows too on the network too. So um, I'm going to have to go with uh, our, our boy Brandon. By the way. I believe he's still taking donations for uh, uh, being a part of Special Olympics. And yes, that's uh, yes. linked on all of our uh, show notes pages. So a little shout out there. All right. So in classic Chad the Shad fashion, then I'll award the winner. He splits the baby. <laughs> what? I'm going to go ahead and give it to Steam Machine. What? Swerve City. Yeah! Oh! I was Woo! For me. So I get a belt or a gift card or something? <laughs> <laughs> You get a, yeah, you get a gift card to uh, Indie Wrestling that you <laughs> Indie Wrestling that you and a hearty <laughs> attaboy. Classic swerve. You, you win a free David R. Demera match. <laughs> <laughs> try not to try to contain your disappointment. Yes, a we highly hate. contested David R. Demera versus Tyler Stone. Listen, Steve Machine, we will not hit you in the back with a ladder. 
<laughs> or a traffic cone. <laughs> or a traffic no, cone. What, what sucked was the, the weather stripping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also what sucked was the tire you decided to start on my head. <laughs> What's it? That cut my ear. At least it was, no, no. Remember, it was someone. No, you decided to put the ladder on your head. Yeah. 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 I got it stuck. And then I think it was Will that decided to spin said ladder. Yeah. Yeah. But the tire, that was the one that he put the put the tire of my head and just like yeah. ran it. <laughs> and I was like, ah, I'm not moving. Ah, good time. God, was, Welcome back, really fan of the me. week. Yeah, that match there was was a my last wrestling match, and uh, b the match that showed me how shitty of a wrestler I actually was. <laughs> and we all learned a valuable lesson, and then one of us had a match with Don Castle feature world champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wait, geez. in that same match, didn't Dave take? I can't remember. Did you guys actually do the um, the fire pit spot, or did you just jump over it? Because it was in the backyard, and there was a fire. There was a fire. That, that was a later match. I was involved with it. With uh, what was his name? From, oh. from DCW. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, psychopathic Jay. Yeah, psychopathic <laughs> Jay. I wrestled him in that tournament, and uh, the ground was soaking wet, and he just like threw me over top of the fire pit, and I just like tuck and rolled over it, yeah. but then sold it like I was burned. Oh my god! But then they destroyed Sorg's dad's bushes. <laughs> or the kidding. trash can. Okay, they're all gone now. <laughs> he was like, "Whatever you do, don't don't mess up these bushes it's and don't don't t- don't bend this trash can." <laughs> and if you look at the cover of the DVD, it's me the, the trash can on him and me splashing the trash, the trash can trash. on his stomach. It was like the first thing. He's like, "Don't mess up this trash can." Ding ding. Well, I'm gonna grab this trash can. <laughs> Oh, oh, good times. Oh, good times. how far we've come. Um, ladies and gentlemen, what have you learned? What have you learned from wrestling this week? Hmm. And if you want to throw in, what did you learn from t- 12 years of this podcast? <laughs> Ooh. So double them up. Who's got your pair? Oh, no. We've got, who's got who, a pair? Who's got a pair? <laughs> Sorg says. <laughs> They're swords. <laughs> I have I have learned in wrestling this week that WWE has decided that we're going to do this whole mixed gender. The mix max challenge. Mix match. And it is they took it, they took the idea. And they were just, ooh, how do we make it better? But it was WWE standards better? (laughs) And I'm not so sure about this. Okay. That's what I learned in wrestling this week. What did you learn from 12 years of this podcast? (laughs) Why are we still podcasting 12 years later, Sork? (laughs) (laughs) Huh. Uh, I think the real MVP is Missy. (laughs) (laughs) Rob? I I learned that there were six Marine movies. It's like, oh, okay, Miz, this is Marine 6 he just made. Okay, I I guess. All right, all right. right. He was in at least four of them. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he is proud. And what did you learn from your experiences in this podcast so far? I don't. Before. (laughs) <laughs> well, I've, I've been listening to the podcast for a couple of years now. Uh, I had never been in a podcast environment. So I've been learning how to podcast, maybe. I don't know. I don't think I've learned anything from this podcast at all. <laughs> God, just, <laughs> that, uh, the ultimate. Ah, yes, God, yes. That, no, that, I don't learn a damn thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all that, right. Turn his they, mic they, off. They, they, yeah. <laughs> I said, that almost hurts more than the why are we podcasting. Yeah, yeah. I don't get nothing. There is no educational value in this podcast. <laughs> we are all dumber. I'll see you next We're week. all dumber for having done it. And... <laughs> well, you remedy. Um, I'd say I learned from wrestling this week that Braun Strowman very well may be Batman. I don't know where he pulled the grappling hook from. Yeah, but uh, they have them backstage. I would, I would completely it's, endorse it's just a gear case. A, <laughs> we, a need, side we, need, story. we know somebody that has worked on building sets for, for WWE. Um, we're going to have to ask him about that nice. grappling hook. It was um, in a nice case. Yeah. And <laughs> and he's, he's yeah. No, there was something down yeah, there. No. <laughs> Similar to the, the, the Braun Strowman elf video, I now want to see a Braun Strowman Batman video. 
based yes. wholly on the grappling hook. Just like him walking up buildings. <laughs> like, <laughs> like like Adam six, West. Yeah, Adam, Adam West back like Adam West, yeah. Yeah. Just I'm, not like, I'm not done with you. I'm not finished with you. With Alexa Bliss as Robin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my god, yes! Yes! <laughs> Alexa Bliss is Carrie Kelly. Yes, absolutely. Co-sign. Co-sign <laughs> times a million. Uh, about both of them. And as far as this podcast, uh, 12 years later, I mean, I disappeared. Probably year six-ish, whatever it was. Um, but fantastic friends out of all of this. So thank you to all of you. We had to bring it back up. Now, those other six years where you were appearing on a rival podcast and all, or just a- <laughs> New Japan uh, Wrestling yeah. Mayhem, me and JR were because uh, I, fig- about- <laughs> I figured after you hadn't been on that podcast for ninety days, you know, it was it was just he was no complete cause. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I sacrificed my host status. Yeah. He was on the Wrestling Impact yeah. show, <laughs> the Mayhem Impact show. Yeah, Shad. Mayhem Impact. Uh huh. Boy. What did I learn from wrestling this week? Uh, <laughs> I'm really intrigued by this uh, this um, Enzo More and uh, this Nia Jax. Nia Jax. Uh, I hope what, Enzo didn't get hurt. What would you call it? <laughs> it's, Courting. It's like Courtship. A, yeah. Courting. <laughs> it's 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 really interesting. I, it's like a slow burn. They keep like just kicking it up here and there. Mm-hmm. I like that. That's interesting. Speaking of that, I, I found it interesting that you know Naya told Alexa Bliss that Asuka doesn't know English. Five minutes after we heard Asuka say something in English, <laughs> we got to stop. Yeah. We got to stop saying Miss Bliss's <laughs> name. We're activating the Alexa over oh, there. Yeah, that's, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, it's it's playing music. Us. Alexa, stop. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Little Miss Bliss. Ask her who your favorite wrestler is. <laughs> Alexa, who's your favorite wrestler? I like Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alexa likes Stone Cold Steve Austin, and that's the bottom line. See, Alexa, she didn't even need to say St- Steve Austin. She said, I like Stone, Stone Cold. Cold. I like Stone Cold. Like Stone- Sorg, Sorg, get Alexa to tell you a wrestling joke. I think that's a little too much for Alexa to handle. Alexa, give me a hell yeah. <laughs> No, it's not. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, no, 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 she doesn't know hell yeah. Wow. No, no, say, Alexa, tell us a wrestling joke. Alexa, tell us a wrestling joke. What's the difference between hockey and professional wrestling? In hockey, the fights are real. Oh, oh. Wow. Sick burn. Oh, wow. Sick burn. Wow. I learned it's that Alexa's a bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Throwing is that what the, throwing I shade is that more, what the kids call the it one now? I, the one she Damn. told me had to do with the rock. <laughs> I was gonna wow. say that was that was excellent comic delivery, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the way she just <laughs> deadpanned it. <laughs> Boom! I like those apples. That's like some Stephen Wright stuff right there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> what did, what did I learn in these twelve years? <laughs> yes. uh, seeing that you can look look back because we have such a large catalog 602 episodes across 12 years you can see that the mayhem the mayhem show not not parodies but runs alongside of what an actual wrestling promotion would be (laughs) oh uh people leave yeah and then just make returns (laughs) triumphant returns that they expect everybody just yeah you just know who i am (laughs) Uh, even though nobody knows who the hell you are. Nobody knows who the hell you are. Or, like, hey, or what you used back. to do. And half the, half the chat room is like, who? Who's the fun? Like, ah, like, motherfuckers. Like, like on their way out, if they really burn those bridges, when they come back, do you just job them out for, you know, <laughs> like six straight months? You just cut them. Oh, your mic's having problems. Then you need yeah. no compete clubs. Um, <laughs> you hear that, Steam Machine? That's what Chad really thinks of you. <laughs> I remember you, Steam Machine. <laughs> But it's yeah, it's it's yeah. like that. You have your you have your rivalries, you have your friends, you have your frenemies, <laughs> enemies on the show, which are really good friends backstage. And you travel, you've traveled places, you you've done remotes, you've you've been adversities, you've met strange people, you've had to do spots maybe you weren't comfortable with. Uh, uh, You're talking about the puppet interview, you've, aren't you? yeah, and you. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's bad stuff. And uh, <laughs> you've you've we've podcasted in like you know small places and in like bingo halls and you know <laughs> now now we're in the studio and uh, yeah, it, it rivals what a wrestling promotion would have to go through, and we're all a big family because of it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get the fans in the chat room. But first, jeez. Um, yeah, All true. right, it's true. Steve it's Machine. True. Uh, let's see. Well, so um, instead of just wrestling, can I bring in the uh, the WWE Network? Do sure. whatever you want. Sure. Uh, yeah. So uh, I uh, on Sunday I had some time, so I was watching uh, Table for Three. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and, uh, watch, watch Kevin Nash eat that chicken. <laughs> yeah, I definitely learned that Ric Flair is exactly who he is off stage than he is on stage. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, and then what I learned from the show uh, over the past 12 years, uh, I learned a lot about Stranger Danger. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, putting out a good message. <laughs> Don't let Sword touch you. Missy, that includes you. <laughs> Ah, uh, cock blocking over the internet. <laughs> Good times. Just like the new John Cena movie coming soon in April. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> cock blocking over the internet. It's. it's I miss this one. No, no, no. <laughs> no, the movie's called Blockers and it has a chicken uh, on it, and yeah. he's a dad. And... It's, it's literally called Cock Blockers. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah. pretty much called right. Cock Blockers. But right. anyways, uh, Steam. John Cena's for the kids. Wait, was was that all there was? At Steam. Yeah, that's all I got, man. You okay. just touched me too much. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he's oh. remote. That's why he's remote. <laughs> also, he's trying to be subtle, but yeah. Bobby F. J. Town. There's actually a restraining order. All right, uh, from, from wrestling this week, I learned with the MMC, not Mickey Mouse Club, uh, Mix Match, Mix Match Challenge. Um, they decided to create uh, a Mortal Kombat character of Ferator with uh, uh, Braun Strowman and Alexa Bliss. If you played Mortal Kombat X, you know. Um, okay. Talking to the uh, audience on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what I learned, what I learned from the show is that your dreams can come true through the show, because I talked to Rhino about uh, a tricycle, and he totally <laughs> shut me down. <laughs> <laughs> but but then RJ City did yeah, sign then, your then picture. RJ City got me a really nice autograph that said, "I'm not sorry about your tricycle." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was all worth it. Oh, that's great. Uh, what about you, Mad Mike? Oh God! From wrestling this week, I learned that I never knew I wanted Oscar to be in the Miztourage, but now I kind of need yeah. Oscar to be in the Miztourage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and from the show, I learned that being adventurous and taking a trip to Pittsburgh to get picked up by a person whose real name you did not remember. <laughs> this, that's true. Stranger I danger. Which one was Dave <laughs> and which one was Chad, despite <laughs> Chad the Shad being a name. <laughs> we did do that. We were like the uh, we're the, the welcoming committee, yeah. <laughs> the welcoming yeah, committee. Town guard because we pick, we picked up Vimmel at the airport. Yep. I had my new car at the time. I told yep. him I bought the car to pick him up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, the weird thing with Vimmel is we didn't really know what exactly he like. what he looked like. So people are just coming off the plane. We're like, we oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of know what he looks like, but. A lot of these people look the same, and I don't know. I which expected ones them to be him. taller myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like looking around the corner and like, <laughs> oh, did, he did he look? Did he look? Did he look? Did he look? <laughs> Enzo, be with you. <laughs> wow. And then, uh, yeah. Then we so, picked. So, we did pick on, up. So, we picked up Mad Mike. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. so anyway, despite um, all that, this was still one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. So thank you, Mayhem. My God, how many times have you been here or we've come to visit you up there? I mean, geez. You still haven't been to Poughkeepsie yet. I have not been. I need to change that, of Sork, course. Sork, 205 Live House Show. Uh, maybe. Give me, give me no, that 205 <laughs> Bray <laughs> Wyatt versus Woken Matt Hardy. If they, <laughs> if they let it happen. Give me that date. Give me that date. Uh, and we'll, almost, we'll see what we can do. Like, it's the it's Saturday. Tomorrow. It's the Sunday before the, the Raw 25. But they canceled so it. So next Saturday. <laughs> 
Wait, it's next this weekend. Wait, really? They canceled the other ones? Yeah, they canceled the other one. Shit, I know the Civic Center is almost sold out. Oh shit! Mm. It's next Saturday. It's a short, short. Now, now why did did they give a reason for canceling, or did they go? Oh, they just canceled. Weather, you know. (laughs) As far as I know, the the Poughkeepsie one is not canceled. I tried looking at tickets last night. They heard they heard uh, the cyclone bomb, and that's a move they just didn't want to compete with. The, the weather. The bomb cycling. Oh, the bomb, the bomb, bomb cycling. cycling. My rap group name. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that's a, that's um, a movie. From the chat room. Tra- from the chat room. No one can break the master lock. From the chat room. <laughs> 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 oh, I often I often think where that kid is now, years oh, ago. Yeah. Who oh, I, my God. I was on the floor of a Raw. And he was just screaming at the top of his lungs in a beat up basketball jersey. We we, we no put this we put this story to lock. music. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No one can break the master lock. You couldn't break it. You couldn't break it. <laughs> you couldn't break it. No one can break the master lock. Biggest Chris Masters mark ever. Wow. From the chat room, Brandon says from the show he learned how not to drink like sorg. Uh, <laughs> well, yes, a cautionary tale. If you drink Whiskey like sorg. sorg, you touch people like steam machines. What? So. No, that's not what. That's not at all what happened. Um, drink and touch. <laughs> <laughs> In wrestling, you learn that he want he they they're wanting to focus more on the tag teams with the mixed match challenge. The winner should get belts the, and fight every week. Uh, JD learned that Goldust has has a uh, jungle fever. I guess I need to watch two hundred five live. Uh, <laughs> no, Gold that Dust is, Gold yeah. Dust is matched Match with challenge. Alicia Fox. No, Alicia oh, Fox. Yeah. nice. That's gonna Fox. be fun. They did a backstage video with her like creeping up on him, and, and then they hugged and they got my partner. Nakamura meowed in his. Nice. <laughs> Wheels. Wheels learned that he loved uh, Jericho versus Omega, and I learned he learned that twelve years that I uh, gained good pals from it. Oh, what's up, Wheels? I'd wheel you in the street anytime, pal. <laughs> right in the middle of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Alex learned that uh, you can't have a party without a Marty. Party Marty Skull has it was a thing, and I learned from uh, this podcast that you guys. Like to chop people. <laughs> yes, we do. Mm. There was a whole thing about that. Um, also, Pete learned that SmackDown is still trash and Strowman is the man. Uh, Dave <laughs> learned that Vince must love Woken Matt's laugh. Yeah, there was a lot of that happening. Yeah. Um, no one should have ever told him yes. that. Uh, Tina says Kenny Omega is her son's new favorite uh, because he's he looked like an action figure at, at Wrestle Kingdom 12. Um, <laughs> oh, I with did, his Destiny gear on. There was yeah, great, cool. I shared an article, I think, on the group that was about how Kenny Omega is the um, is the cosplay guy that we wish we were. It's like, yeah, that seems accurate. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, yeah. holy deep cuts to do like Destiny, because like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that is. I have know? that gun in the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> there's all those Destiny players just going, wow. <laughs> hey, listen, I freaked out whenever he came out as a character from uh, Fist of the North Star. <laughs> When did he do that? Uh, that was a while ago. He came out as... Someone's um, going to get touched tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Such a- uh, he came out as um, like one of the first... It doesn't even matter. I'm not even getting into it. That's okay. That's <laughs> that's fine. Fine. That's fine. He that's did good. it. It just happened. Guys, yeah, it happened. thank you very much for being part of this, for this insanely long time for doing a podcast. I don't know many that have been around uh, uh, doing this as long. Uh, or, or, or longer than us, uh, and uh, as we're we're here, and 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 we have uh, there's always big plans in the future. Obviously, we're in this space and uh, doing things and and seeing people uh, come in, and um, I think being inspired by the show and wanting to do some bigger stuff in their own sides, and uh, you know, kind of building what we have around the wrestling and, and outside. There's a lot of great opportunities that we've had. There's literally, I, I say this a lot when we're talking about the show, the work that I do in, you know, in the studio, in, in the company and everything is because of this show. Everything has built from the Wrestling Mayhem show for me in my career. And I want to thank you guys for being a part of this. You're Triple H, man. <laughs> so what's up? Is, is this the longest running <laughs> weekly <laughs> episodic uh, wrestling, wrestling podcast? podcast that, yeah. Do you want to take pictures with each of us pointing at us? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorg oh, is Triple H. Triple H. The multiple, yeah, exactly. Every time an NXT. But thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. Thank you, everybody, that's been listening and contributing and being part of the audience and being part of the live chat room and being part of listening to us on uh, on on the on the you know podcast afterwards, wherever that may be. You know, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Talk Shoe back in the day, uh, your <laughs> window, your Windows yeah. phone, burned it to a CD ROM. Uh, uh, dubbed it to a cassette tape to listen to your on old your car Zune. on it your Zoom. Sounds great in vinyl. Thanks, a, you thanks know, for caring. Thank, thank you so much uh, for all of that. And here's to another twelve years. We'll be doing this again next year for Lucky Thirteen. And well, yeah, there we go. We got. He's got the. He's there. You go. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wrestling it's even right side up. mayhem show. It's even right side. Can we get yeah. CM Punk singing "Happy Birthday" to the Ray, what Rey Mysterio? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> free kid or whatever it was. Yeah. 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 Uh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Until yeah. next time, mayhem out. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.